name Austin, and I teach the Intensive Introduction to Apple Logic course here at WAES. This is the first of a series of films that we're making to accompany the topics covered in the course. In this first film, we're going to be looking at some of the topics that we cover in the first couple of sessions. By the end of today's film, you will be able to get set up and make a simple recording using Apple Logic. So, on with the film. Uh, welcome. This is just a, a short introductory film uh, to show you the basis of Apple Logic. Uh, this is version 8, Logic Pro 8, and I'm just going to show you how to set up a basic track and how to configure it so that you can start recording. So first thing we do, uh, we go down to the, the dock and click on Logic. Actually, Logic's open, but I need to, to create a new project. So I'm going to go up to the File menu and I'm going to select New. Um, you can also get that by pressing Apple and N. Uh, we'll create a, an empty project and then I'm going to add some tracks and here I get the wizard up which lets me choose uh, what tracks I want. I'm going to be re um, recording entirely in the box which means I'm going to be using the computer alone, I'm not going to have any external kit. So I'm going to select let's say four software instruments. I'm not going to be recording any audio at this point. Um, I think maybe I'll just create a few audio tracks though. Let's just see. Yeah, this is just to, to make clear the difference between the tracks. Okay, so now I've got four software tracks, software instrument tracks, and four audio tracks. The first thing to, to say is the difference between the different tracks. Audio tracks are physical sound. They're recording of, for example, a guitar or a drum kit uh, or a piano. And to get audio, you need to actually connect a microphone to the, the computer. Um, most of this is done with a, a proper dedicated audio interface. Um, but as I say before, we're not going to be doing that today. So this is going to be concentrating on the, the software instrument tracks. These are the instruments that come with Logic and they all work entirely within the computer. So we can select these and we can get, for example, we can get synthesizer sounds, we can have a sampler, uh, we've got an electric piano, an organ and a drum machine. And the beauty of this is that as long as you've got your your laptop or your your computer, everything's there for you. So, without further ado, I'm just going to set up a few of these tracks just to show you how you access them. Okay, first thing you need to do is actually select the track that you want. This is instrument one, so I'm going to use this one. And then I'm going to go down, you'll see on the left hand side, this is what's called the channel strip. Uh, and for every track you will have one of these. Uh, they will be pretty identical at the moment because nothing's been set up. You'll see actually the audio ones, they're slightly different because they've been configured um, to route directly to the mixer. This is not, the instrument tracks have not been set up at all. So I select this track and this is where I configure the track, this little thing which means in out. I click on that and here I get a list of all the Logic instruments up. And as you can see, there's quite a few. There's a, a lot of synthesizers and there's the instruments I mentioned. So to start with, I'm going to go for a drum machine. Um, this, this is always a good thing to start with. And here we get Ultrabeat. And Ultrabeat is the included Logic drum machine. So I'm going to click here where it says default. This is basically telling me what instrument I've currently selected. I've not actually got anything selected as it's just opened up. So I'm going to pop down here to drum kits and select the drum and bass kit. And this then loads up some sounds. Um, one feature that's quite useful when you're getting started is the sequencer in Logic, which uh, allows you to use preset patterns. 
turn that off while I'm speaking. Um, preset patterns. So if you wanted, for example, to start playing with an, an instrument just using a loop that someone's already put together, um, you can audition these here. There's, it says number pattern, so that's number one, number two. So I'll turn this on and I'll just go through those patterns and let you have a listen. So that's two. These ones are quite similar. And mostly it's just little things that are changing. I'll flip, flip down to the bottom. And that one's a bit different. And what you can actually do with the patterns then once you've you've auditioned them, listen to them, is if you drag them, they will go directly up into the arrange window. And that means that then if you play them back, they will be in the main arrange window and you can therefore you can use them in your track. Okay, so that, that set up an instrument. I'm now just going to talk a little bit about the arrange window. Thank you.